Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again. This time around I'm gonna go as the character I didn't even know I had unlocked. Um, we're gonna go as apparently a Tainted Apollyon unlocked. I don't remember doing that. Let's just play as Tainted Apollyon. I didn't even realize that I was gonna play as Tainted Azazel, but apparently I have Tainted Apollyon. When did I do that? I don't remember any of this. Anyways, let's just jump in and see how it goes because his character can be quite fun. Either way, question of the day today. What is an off-brand version? of a product that you will stand by? What is like the cheaper version of something um, that you think is much better than the actual version? Mine, ooh, mine is an absolute doozy of one. And one that I don't get to eat enough. Um, in the UK, we have a particular uh, little biscuit cake style snack. I don't exactly know what you'd call it. I'd probably more call it a cake than a biscuit, but we have Jaffa cakes, um, which are amazing. But apparently I didn't realize like we're a UK exclusive thing. Anyways, they're fantastic. It's like this little bit of sort of cakey, bready sort of thing with some chocolate on top, as well as uh, bonus 20% chance to spawn a library, uh, teleports the player to the library on use. Uh, okay, interesting. Um, some seems like a very strange thing to be an active, but okay. Um, but yes, um, I forget what I'm saying. What was I talking about? Oh yeah, and then, and then yeah, it has like chocolate on the top and then like this sort of, um, orange jelly thing in the middle. It's, it's, they're lovely. They're really, really nice. But, but. The Euro Shopper versions of them, which is like the mega cheaper versions, they are like one third of the cost of the actual ones. In my opinion, are leagues night and day above the originals. They're so much better. Like with the originals, you get like quite a lot of the cakey base, then like a little bit of the jelly, a um, little bit of the orange jelly, and then like the layer of chocolate. Whereas the Euro Shopper ones, the like cheaper ones, like, it's, the, the cake layer is really thin and the jelly layer is, like, really thick. And it, oh, it's just, like, the orangey bit of it's the best bit. That's the main bit I want out of this. So, uh, give me more of that. And they do exactly that. And I love that. It's very, very nice. Um, you're kind of annoying, good sir. So, I might do the old head trick with you. Yeah, let's try it. Boom, bow. Love it. Little bit of a waste there. Um... An eye with extra damage. Now nah, I'm just going to take that for my very self, for my very own. Um, just go down this way, and we'll see. We'll see what else we can grab with uh, with the abyss. I, I'll, I'll see. So no library this floor, otherwise our active would be charged. It seems interesting as an as an idea, but I, I just yeah, it seems like it should just be a passive. Like the the fact that it can teleport you to the library doesn't really add much to it. It might as well just be a passive, I guess. I don't know. It's it's kind of strange. But I'll accept it for what it is. But yeah, I think there's a lot of situations like that where the uh, the real version of the product is just nowhere near as good as the cheaper version of it. Um, that is definitely one of those for me. So it'd be interesting for, for to hear of your guys' opinion on like what is your cheaper brand that you think is actually better than the original. Because there's, there's just tons of them out there. And also I'm interested because there might be some out there that I've maybe um, not tried yet and will actually be incredible. But yeah, the, the, the shop next to me, there's like a shop just down the road from me, used to sell them, um, and I used to get them fairly regularly, and they haven't had them in, in like a year at this point, and I'm just, I'm just depressed, because they just seem to be hard to find. Like, they're only really sold at like corner shops. Um, you don't really get them at supermarkets and stuff, so they're kind of hard to find, and I really, really like them. By the way, if you're wondering why this is still the new save file and not the idea that I discussed in the last episode, it's because I'm backlocking videos and I haven't received any comments on the last video yet, and therefore I'm not going to change what's going on until then. A tan card with extra damage, I think we will take that, yeah. Also, buttons. Probably shouldn't have pressed so many of them. That one gave me a full penny. It's amazing. But yeah, I'm not going to implement that idea or change anything until I get the feedback. So it's going to be a few days after that video having been discussed and me getting your comments back before anything potentially changes um, anyways. Even if, if, if anything does, it might not. We'll see. But like I said, there's a potential chance that you all just hate the idea. Uh, although I kind of doubt that. Anyways, um, let's jump forward and just carry on. Yeah, I'm, I'm liking this card look. Because it's kind of weird to get a card one based off the Dead Sea Scrolls. I'd, I'd more so have expected it to, like, have some sort of random property to it, maybe. 
um, just because of it being like based on something that has a random chance to do random things. But hey, her, it's not always that easy. I'm hoping we get Beth right for this guy at some point, because uh, I haven't had it in a really long time. Although I say that and I immediately realize we don't have Beth right unlocked yet. Um, because I need to play more Jake Manizal. This is truly depressing. Although, we got quite a lot out of that there. But that, that is still not what I was looking for. Um, I think I'm just going to speed along here. I don't feel the need to go to all the rooms anymore in Isaac. I, I Like, if it's a run where the, where the struggle bus is in full swing, then it's definitely more so uh, something that I look into. But this, is, this run's kind of coasting right now. We've got... A few locusts doing good damage. Our damage is pretty decent as well. Um, we've got potential for libraries, which is good for locusts and just good for more active items. I'm, I'm probably going to stick with just, just creating locusts out of it, I'll be honest. Um, and yeah, we'll kind of just see how this goes. I'm, I'm chilling right now. But yeah, sadly, no, no uh, library again. It is only additional 20% chance, which isn't very high. Um, so it might not appear so soon. It might it might have to wait a little while before we see that occur. But it will come eventually. The time will come. Slightly frustrating room here, to be honest. I'd say more than slightly, actually. This is a very frustrating room. A bunch of little annoying fellas everywhere oh look at that you had to do it didn't you you had to be that way oh it's a golden small rock i've got to just take that because turning it into a locust would not give me two of them but a golden small rock baby that is that is something to be truly blessed about i like that a lot my speed hasn't been uh, lowered into a point of complete failure i was kind of Thinking, oh, maybe this is going to just destroy my speed. And it's, it's not in a great spot, but it's not bad. But yes, the golden items. As I said, I still really love them as an idea. I just wish they were slightly less common. But I, I don't really mind. I suppose the extra power we're getting from it offsets the extra difficulty added by Feed Folio in a way. So it's not like a crazy advantage. Feed Folio is still tougher anyways. I'm going to try this out. Ooh, shaka yeah. Oh, that's unfortunate. Let's pop the boss disc here and see what we get. Actually, really, really good stuff there. Wow. It was a very, very positive boss disc. Okay, you're going down reasonably quickly, my good sir. Didn't really decide to move out the way of that. I don't, don't fully know why, but... And we get the toy drum as well. Hell yes. Uh, I'm going to take the toy drum... And oof, definitely going to take that. Okay. Honestly, um, whoa, we, we got it triggered off of this item. There you go. Um, so honestly, I don't know how much abyss use we're going to get, but it does duplicate the item onto the floor, not when you pick it up. So we might get more use actually than I thought. I like this. And we haven't seen the item room yet, which is very good considering we've got this item. I absolutely love this item. It's so, so unbelievably strong. Also, pop is just kind of what it is. Pop is what it is. Yeah, 50% chance to get an extra item when an item spawns. So we don't know what these are right now, but if we hold it above our head and see, uh, this is definitely one we'll abyss. Get ourselves a drippy boy. My speed. How could you take my speed away from me? And I don't mean the drug. I will pop this pill. Tears up. Oh. Baby, this is a good run. This run has some sauce. You know what? I'm even going to go in here. One thing that's really interesting, I, I know I've been talking about it a lot, about watching uh, Dark Viper play, is goddamn, does he love to risk his HP. He will, like, trade every devil deal he sees and, like, go into every care room he sees, regardless of how low his HP is. He has absolute reckless abandon, and it's, it's kind of great. I kind of love to see it. I like to play that way. Um... But yeah, like it's I still I still have sort of been internally coming up with these ideas for these challenges in my head. Um and one of one of the ones that could be interesting is go to every curse room you see, um, unless it will kill you. Like unless it will literally kill us, we have to go enter every single curse room we see. 
stuff like that. I think I think adding those challenges to runs could be a fun way to add some difficulty, but also to like maybe see some items we don't see very often and stuff by going in those rooms. The potential there is is pretty huge. I would like to see it. Right, we're just looking for the item room here. Boss room? This isn't an item room. Oh, God. No, I'm going to go straight in here. Still no library. Oh. Ugh. Ugh. Throwing up. Big throwing up. Ugh. I feel gross. Hopefully, um, having pop will actually help a lot here. Uh, my passion. For my passionate rage burns inside. Also, can we not have this curse again, please? Uh, we'll take that. And we will take that, okay. Okie dokie. You're a big boy. Oh, dude, he shot that straight over the rocks. I, for some reason, wasn't expecting that. Oh, hello. Now, that I certainly wasn't expecting. I mean, with this, we literally can't get, so I'll take that, thank you. Just let me try something here. Nah, I thought maybe you could break through the floor there, but no. But yeah, that was that was useful. We couldn't have got that item either way, so Abyss allows us to do something. I don't know if it's going to, what it's actually going to do, because I didn't get to read the description, but we will see, we will see. I love the Abyss Locus mod. Such a good mod. Makes the character so much better. Thank you. Ooh, very annoying room here, because these guys are going to spawn a lot of friends that we're going to have to deal with. See you making your way down to this thing we called Earth. Is that not it? There's another little midgy dude somewhere. Where are you, pal? Oh, there you are. Stuck in the corner. 20 volt will keep. And we will uh, suck that up. Guessing that was just big damage, the glass cannon one. Seems to be a bit slower. I, like, I probably should have done 120 volt as well, but I'm kind of glad I didn't. Beautiful. Okay, amazing floor here. For locusts and stuff. That would have given us a white locust with light blue arcs. The high chance... Ah, oh, that kind of would have been cool, actually. Damn. That would have been really cool. I'll do this extra room, because why not? Oh, it's really this room again. I thought, hey, hey now, just an extra little room. Couldn't hurt anybody, couldn't hurt a fly. You zapped me. Well, I zapped you, and then you hit me. I'm starting to want to call this game racist. Doubles my number of bombs. I'll just pop that now. Up to 12 bomb scaroonies. I like it. I love it. Secret rooms here, I'm not entirely sure, but I'm just going to check one potential spot here. Nah. Let's get out of here. Right. Let us go. Let us be on our way. One second. Cool, cool, cool. Zap you. Oh, fuck me. That was aggressive, that jump. Wow. So we're getting low on soul hearts here. That's not great. Open your head, fella. Thank you, my lord. Still no library, sadly. Library doesn't want anything to do with us right now. It is certainly depressing to hear. Damn it. Okay, let's go straight for our deal here. Oh, God. Oh, Lord, this is a kind of rough room, this. Okay, that wasn't actually as bad as I thought it would be. White Rose will keep that as well. Our fire rate is looking very, very spicy. And we got our Soul Heart back as well for next floor, potentially, to keep our dealings alive. Doot, 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 doot. 
Beautiful. I, I want to know what the bomb one does. I think it's just extra damage, but you never really know. Some of them have some really unique effects, and other ones are just kind of like, it does a bit more damage. You never really know. Always weird when you see a room like that, where it's just like, here's this trap that you have to navigate through, but it's a dead end, so you don't have to navigate through it. It's like, okay. Thanks for uh, showing me that game, but uh, I'll be leaving now, thanks. Thanks for the show and tell, I guess. A red heart there. That was close. Oh, this is going to hit me. Oh my god, it didn't hit me. I was kind of like stuck in the doorway there. Boom, boom, and boom. What you got for me? Ugh. Just a grey chest. It just feels so uh, offensive. 120 volt, that was good there. I'm not going to go this time because I'd rather keep my soul heart alive. Did manage to blow up one of my wisps there accidentally. Right, item room is next. Come on, please double our item. 50% chance, you know you can do it. You know you want to. Ooh, a luck penny. I'll take that. I'll take that as well. God damn, the piercing ability of the of the locusts, like, sitting on top of enemies is kind of crazy. Because, like, enemies like that that spawn other enemies, it just insta-kills them as soon as they spawn. Do you have a shop here as well? Nice. We did get our 50% chance. I don't know what charge you're thinking of stealing here. Oh, Abyss, obviously. Um, well, Abyss that. Oh, Abyss is both. Shit, I didn't think about that. Um, that was actually kind of good overall. We've got an item here that we will buy. And that gave... Oh, uh, it spawned to the right. we got Greg the Egg. And then we got Star Whistle, which is honestly a lot better than the Encyclopedia right now. That thing is just isn't really doing much for us. Um, I think I'm going to leave it and, and stick with the Star Whistle. I know we don't have any money right now, so the Star Whistle is kind of useless. But later on in the run, it could prove to be pretty good. Can't be ass walking around. Also, free pill. Infested? Infested? Right, we have a, quite the army with us already. We'll head on. Good amount of keys here to uh, use Star Whistle once we get the money available for it. Are these guys the teleported ones? We've got the little Bible. Mum's health is reduced to half on starting the fight. Yes, that's a good floor to get this on. That is very useful, and the broken onk isn't that useful, so... Oh god, how did I survive that hit there? Wow. I don't know, but I'm accepting of it. That was close. Uh, we got Error Walk and a Rules card. Error Walk is probably something that we'll save until a little bit later on. Um, it looks like we're easily going to be getting Boss Rush here. We've kind of sped through these floors at an alarming rate here, so that's pretty good. It's always weird when it's double, double of the big guy. Left hand, no thank you. Sorry, pill. I'm not doing pills right now. Blind fella. Poor dude. Ooh, extra money. And did Greg the Egg just poop a coin? That is exactly what we want him to do. That is the sort of tenacity that we need. Dude, can these suck job boys stop trying to goddamn suck me off? Sentence I didn't think I'd be saying today, but it has happened. Sentence has been said. That is a very good trinket, but it's gone now. That is something we want to abyss up. We're getting a lot of actives, but it's actually a character that's fine to get a lot of actives on, so it doesn't really matter. Don't really matter for me. Right. Pushing forward. And here we go. Yeah, I'm glad we're getting a good bit of money here. I'm hoping Greg the Egg pops at some point and gives us a good item. I wonder if his item can be duplicated. That'd be interesting. 
Greg pops out an item and it just duplicates itself. Oh. I will never not replicate that wonderful sound. We can kind of ghost right here, I think, now. Got the money. We'll, we'll pop one of these real quick and see what we get. We did get an item, surprisingly. Pretty decent one as, as well. Um, I think we just do this, don't we? Yeah, look at that. Reduce the half health straight away. Oh, I've got an itch on my wrist. Bad timing. Nice stuff there. I guess we'll just take this. Take a little look in here. Why with all the invisible items? God damn. Cycle protection's great. And oh, we'll keep both of those. Okay. Did any other items duplicate or was it just the one? Seems to be... Oh, that one's gold, though. I think we take the golden one first, just in case. It's the Shining Clicker. Not... Not the hopefulness that I was hoping for. Is that a word? Um, the Shining Clicker is randomly respawned as another character. Uh, oh, this item is still here. Good. Um, oh, 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 yes, I managed to get rid of a little portal. Thank goodness. God damn, I hate this item so much. It's, it's cool that it has, like, a unique locust sprite as well. Look, oh, God, I'm taking some fucking bad damage right now. Um, but, yeah, um, now we have the chance to respawn as a random character. Oh, the heart there that I wanted. God damn it. Um, oh, Lord, there's a lot going on right now. There's a lot to focus on. You are taking a beating, good sir. Bee sing? Because <laughs> there's bees? There's a bee? Where? Should I arrow walk for this? I'm going to save arrow walk for hush, I think. I probably could have done mega Satan on this run as well, actually, if I'd have thought about it. I never really think about mega Satan, I'll be honest. It's always something that, like, the, unless I'm, like, really actively going for it, I just kind of forget exists. Well, hello, Plum. Yeah, no thank you. I'm just gonna, I don't know what's freezing right now, what freezing effect we have, but it, it's, it's doing work, and I like it. Hello, good sir. Goodbye, good sir. Soul heart, baby. It tried to disappear on me, but I was too quick. Quick to the draw. Excuse me, you don't fire herming shit at me. That's a double soul heart, baby. Getting some gifts right now. Okay. I did actually massively lower the chance for the doubled black hearts and double soul hearts to spawn. And they still feel reasonably common. They're not like super common, obviously. But like, they're enough, co they're common enough for me to notice them like, probably like once or twice a run. I am not normal, remember like one, once or twice. Once every other run, maybe. But that's kind of why they needed a nerf. They were even stronger than that before. They came up all the time. Considering they just had the chance to replace a regular soul heart, it was literally just extra reward for no extra sacrifice or anything. Like, excuse me, sir, you're not. You wasn't standing on anything there. Wow. Calm your roll, good boy. We are slip slapping about the place now. Another soul heart over here? I'll take that. I'm liking the speed at which we're killing things. Oh shit, I did not see you there, Stan. When all our locusts hit, it's just kind of carnage. Hello, hello. Yeah, it's kind of funny that I got a golden item that turned out to be a golden version of an item. And I have two respawns as random characters, if I need them, which I probably won't. Ah, shit. K, 
Kingpin? Kingpin, can I ask you a question? Why do you exist in the form that you do? Who was your creator and what demons tormented them? Truly a troubled, troubled human being. Need more money. Where's, where's all my money drops? For some reason it's only dropping me hearts. God. I need money in my boss rush. Ah, the timing on that was off. He didn't even spawn there anyways, so... Two halves need to go. The herming on them is aggressive. Oh, dude, he does electricity as well. Okay, this guy's pulling out all the stops. I didn't know he had such a wide array of attacks. Last... Yeah, I was going to say that was last wave. I thought so. And it doubled. Beautiful. Uh, buttermilk is fine by me. And Mum's pad will certainly uh, scoop up, I think. Thank you. To the next floor. Okay. So far, this run's going reasonably standard. We can get the... Um, the Sulean of Apollyon. Um... If we play our cards right here, that's the main thing I'm looking to unlock at the minute. It's kind of why, like I said, I kind of forgot about Mega Satan, because I just had the idea of unlocking that in my head and just kind of stuck to that one idea. It also just got slapped around. Oh, this is kind of good with Pop, by the way, the buttermilk. I didn't think about the fact that all the tears would stick around. Mr. Boom. I would like to uh, suck you up, but you're kind of far away from any other rooms and any other charges. So that would be quite the task. Need a little more damage now, I think. Our damage with, with our locusts is pretty good, but our tier damage itself is leaving a little bit to be desired. He just pooped out a pill. Suppository didn't quite dissolve enough, I don't think. Excuse me, sir. Sir. For our God's sake, I couldn't hit him. Good. Ooh. Black rune. I haven't seen many black runes about. Um, okay, now I will go and black rune. It's a little bit of a long trek, but I will go and black rune the um, the item to try and get some more damage. If I get damage, I'll be very, very happy. I did not, but I did get fire it, which is DPS, which is kind of, in a way, damage. So, there you go. It all worked out in the end. Still could have taken my Error Walk with me though, because Error Walk is just an insanely good card. Ow. We are taking some mighty amounts of damage right now. The world. Around the world, around the world. Unfortunately, we do not have the ability to fly, so I can't get over there. Can pop into here, however, though. I only have one. I say I only have one coin, so you better pay out. Sadly, he did not. Well, he did. He gave me a strength card, but give me a strength card for the room that I'm in that has no enemies. Not exactly the most satisfying of results. Drop the strength card on the floor as well. Still, not the best result for us. Don't need it. Don't want it. Leaving it where it stands. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Oh my god. That room was kind of overwhelming there. There's just so much going on. Whoa! Yes! What was I saying about Greg giving us double items? It happened. It finally happened. Fate's reward and Guppy's pride. Oh, yes, baby. Can you believe it? The double Greg at the egg has happened. Truly a magical moment for all of mankind. Right. Oh, it's blow. Fuck me. How did I not get hit by that laser then? Wow. He got majorly wrecked. Mr. Dolly, even better. Okay, health is looking very nice heading into the next floor, which is not something I was expecting to be saying right now. 
It's not looking great to start this war. I'm going to leave that because I need my keys for the uh, hush fight. I actually need two more, and I did leave one on the last floor, so... More fool me, I guess. Ow. Don't know why I bombed there. I was like, that, that, that enemy annoyed me, so I tried to bomb it, and by the time the bomb was starting to go off, I'd already killed it, and I was like, uh. Okay. That bomb hit me? Okay. I was too eager to escape the clutches of those deathly hands. Too eager. And I unfortunately got schlippity schlapped by my own bomb. Which is a pretty turtle melon thing to do, to be honest. And I got hit again. Okay, I was saying how good my health was looking. I've unfortunately squandered pretty much all of those the, the advantages that I put forward. Grab, grab that key. Still no coins, really, though. Only on five for quite a while now. Good. Oh, beautiful. Need more for the chest as well, so... Need to get up to... 11, I think, in total? I think 11. I think it's 7 for the hush fight and then 4 for the uh, chest, right? I think that's right. Alright. Oh my god. I have squandered all of my soul hearts already. Not very good play by me. What the hell? One of the enemies went all the way over there and I never saw where he went. I think I feared him, maybe? What do I have that's doing fear? Oh, it'll be the... It'll be the mum's, um... I don't know, actually. What is it? Do I have mum's pad in there? I think I have mum's pad in there, don't I? I have mum's pad and mum's bra in my locus. What? I don't know what hit me there. Luckily, this thing starts at half HP. Or it would if my trinket wasn't a liar. Excuse me. It said it even worked on it lived and stuff, so... I need a refund game. Shattered Stone. Sharon Stone. Lovely. Right. Pop in here. Yeah, I'm probably going to pop Arrow Walk here. I think it's the, the most likely scenario for it to be useful. Sadly, one of the chests got replaced. Silver Ring is good. Screw is also good. Hypno Ring is something. B Skin is good. Spoon Bend is very good, especially with B Skin. And we will uh, suck this up. Soul Cleaver. Soul Cleaver is actually pretty good. I'm going to take Soul Cleaver. Right. Let's go. Arrow walk this boy. And yeah, hopefully destroy him. Now, Pop Pop's having some, some troubles right now, by the looks of it. I don't know where my Pop Pop shots are going. But it seems to be all over the fucking place. It's actually not doing a lot of damage either. This is not great. I don't know what's going on with my pop pop shots, but they're getting like stuck inside me. I'm just kind of going wherever the hell they want. Which isn't what I planned for. Good thing is with the herming here, spoon bender, means that we'll just kind of hit most of our shots regardless here. Especially with the low shot speed we now have, which I'm not quite sure what item gave us the low shot speed. Maybe it's Hypno Ring that gave us low shot speed? Maybe it's B-Skin? I mean, I guess it's Hypno Ring, because I don't see why B-Skin would. But yeah, we, we were on pretty high shot speed because the screw gave us some, didn't it? And now it's quite low. Oh god, the arrow walk makes this sort of phase so slow. Are you just gonna... Gonna chill there, yeah. That 
hit me. Oh my god, the bomb's radius is insane. Oh my god, every time he goes underground, an eternity passes. This does seem to be pretty effective, though. I thought we were going to kill him fairly slowly, and it seems to actually have picked up quite a lot. Whoa, some of these enemies actually fell asleep. Is that Error Walk that's doing that? I can't believe it is, because that's the sleeping mechanic's something that's part of Fiend Folio. Oh, it must be the Hypno Ring. Puts things to sleep. You get it. I don't actually know what the Hypno Ring does, so I'm just kind of guessing here. I do miss not knowing what items did, though. Not playing without external item descriptions and figuring it out. That was a really big, like, fun part of the game when you first started playing. And a lot of people kind of missed out on that and just, like, like played straight away with external item descriptions. Which I do kind of get because some people just don't have the time to learn it all and just want to enjoy the game for what it is. But I think the, the like, learning experience of it all was, was a really big part of my enjoyment of it when I first started playing. It's a shame that some people didn't have the time to sort of get that full experience. Dude, this is ridiculous. Just get out the ground. Immunity phases do not belong in boss fights. They should be removed immediately. God damn it. Okay, his, his maw is open. You can kind of skirt around that though. I actually managed to plant a perfect bomb that was perfectly accidental, but it works. Damn it. I'm just getting shot off in random directions. Dude, I'm going under fucking ground. Oh my god. This fight would have been over like 15 minutes ago if it wasn't for this. Look at that. What, what a time waste. Could have just done that ages ago. A Soleon of Apollyon is done. Okay, clearing rooms now should be, like, very simple with uh, with Herming and everything here. This should be, like, crazy simple. It should just be walking and everything gets swarmed, and then everything dies. And then things fall asleep also. And if that doesn't happen, my, my locusts clear everything up, so... It's all good right now. It's all good. It's all fine. Everything's fine. Good, good, good. Ah! My, my butt. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Giant pot, although we only have two bombs. Damn it, the big bombs don't count as two bombs for this. Okay, I'm going to have to do some exploring in order to um, try and get some more bombs for that, because I'd very much like to get whatever's inside there. Curse pennies can drop on room clear, high replacement chance. I don't think I need that. Curse pennies can be good, I'll be honest, but still. I right, need one more bomb. We're looking for one more bomb. Time to celebrate. One more bomb. After this, I'm gonna make myself an absolutely amazing bagel. It's gonna be pretty fantastic. I'm excited for it. Been eating a lot of bagels recently. They're pretty low calorie if you buy like the you get, like these bagel thins. Yeah, they're pretty low calorie, and uh, they taste very nice. And I fill them with some cream cheese, a bit of cracked black pepper, chili flakes, jalapenos, a bit of like turkey, maybe some mushrooms. Ooh, all round an incredibly pleasant experience had by all. It's like my main, the main thoughts going through my head right now is, what am I next going to eat? Dude, we only need one more bomb. Could you just chill out? There you go. We finally got it. We've, we've stepped quite far away from the, 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 the big pot at this point, but tripsing our way back for something as novel as a giant pot. I feel like it's worth it. Mm. 
Booyah. I mean, come on now. You've got to say, after all that effort, Sissy Longlegs has to be worth it, right? Sissy is the best there ever was. Like, honestly, no one can deny the power, the true power of Sissy. I'm guessing it's this way. I'm not actually... Ah, oh, it's you. I didn't really want to fight you, but you're not terrible because we could get double angel deal items off you if we're lucky. Or at least a soul heart. If only I could hit you easily. I tried to bomb you then, realizing the ordeal we just went through to get our bombs. Why do you always give me the fuck? It's a 50-50 chance to give a soul heart or an angel item. And for the other guy, 50 to black heart or a devil item. And what does it always fucking give me? It's like, come on, just for once in your life, be cool. You lost the soul heart almost immediately as well. Right, Isaac, how fast will you die? I mean, you're going to sleep already, so that's a good sign. Ow. Bad hit. Sissy! Yes, make him love me! Isaac, love thyself. Okay. Easy kill. We got a sword. Bottomless bag is pretty good. If I remember correctly. Bottomless bag is pretty swag. Okay, Celestial Crown, very good. Mongo Baby, damn it, I did not mean to do that. Also, there's an Emergy Fly. I, I keep forgetting that it, like, applies to every single one of them and doesn't just... It's not like, um... Thingy where it just grabs the one that you're holding. Big whoops. I mean, honestly, of all the items it sucked up, I don't think any of them were, like, particularly amazing. But still. A little bit of a hoof my goof I think Celestial Crown is actually fucking amazing for us, because our tears are just going to be passing through all of the little orbs all the time, right? Right, let's just hope we don't die. That's, that's the main thing right now. Kill the dolphins, don't die. Two things to live by. Shit nug nuggets. Getting in my way. Got a bunch of grapes. Has to be this way, right? Has to be. Damn it! I said it just to make it happen. The game did not agree. The game did not agree. It'd be interesting to hear how many of you are sort of people that would be like, Oh, I gotta get that key, gotta get that penny, and like pick up everything that, that every room drops. Or how many of you play the way I do? Because I bet the way that I play frustrates a bunch of people. Especially, like, when I, like, go, Oh, I won't need that key, and I run past it, and then, like, three floors later, I'm like, I need a key! I need a key! <laughs> um, I'm sure that really pisses some of you off. <laughs> Even, like, then, the search for that for the uh, bomb to bomb open that pot. I probably missed out on like 10 bombs across the whole run that I could have just easily picked up. I'm sure that's very annoying to some of you. I'm getting hit quite a lot here, but it seems like we're on the right tracks now. Like all these keys, we just definitely don't need them. Any need to be so dramatic, my guy. Is there a reviver dude here or not? Don't think there is. Oh! That fucking... It duped me out then. This is a very horrible room, by the way. The visual clutter that's going on right now is... 
kind of insane. Well, here's the boss. Two hearts and a dream. Two hearts and a dream. Just about dodged that herming shot. I can't even see his tears. I don't even know what he's firing right now. Whoa! Very, very cool attack that I have not seen before from this guy. What the heck? He's falling asleep during his immunity phase. That's not great for us. Because it means he's going to be here a while. Okay, there you go. At least his immunity phases are really short. Right. Taken out. We are good to go. Honestly, I don't think we'll, we'd live through that. So I'm just going to end off the run here. But yeah, I hope you guys did enjoy this one. And I'll see you guys in the next one.